At a press conference on Monday, Tata SIA executives announced that the new joint venture between Tata Sons and Singapore Airlines will be called Vistara. This joint venture is going to pursue an outsource strategy and has tied up with Air India to manage the ground handling and engineering services before the takeoff. For us, our approach is a combination of judicious uh, outsourcing, mm -hmm. right? At the same time, a combination of that with also the core functions we want to own and control. So, with respect to technical handling, we've decided to uh, outsource to Air India, Engineering Services Limited. The portfolio of outsourcing will grow with time. You know, as we grow in scale, right, the needs may change. This outsourcing strategy of Tata SIA has set an example in India where most airlines have their own staff to manage engineering checks and ground handling functions. I truly believe that Tata Singapore Airlines will redefine the air travel experience, carve out a unique image for itself and become the preferred brand for air travelers. We are excited about the growth potential of India's aviation sector and the opportunities offered by the future expansion of the market. Vistara sees the potential of the market and is extremely optimistic with the new pro-business government in place. The kind of statements that the government has made about enhancing infrastructure and, and tourism. And I think you've uh, seen recently some steps at, at uh, getting new airports uh, built up or, or uh, you know, refined. And I think all these steps show very clearly that, that the government wants to put the airline industry into a much broader frame. Tata SIA is expecting to have 20 fleet initially to be launched in September in India. Tata SIA is now waiting for the grant of a license from the Directorate General of Civil Aviation.